We present Iron, a neural inverse rendering pipeline that takes in multi view photometric images and outputs meshes and material textures that can be easily rendered in existing graphics pipelines. Photometric images refer to images where the lighting is from a point light source co-located with the camera. We can capture such photometric images in a dark room using a cell phone camera illuminating the scene with the on-device flash. We can easily plug the 3D assets created by our iron system into existing graphics renderers. Note that unlike NERV that bakes lighting in radiance fields, we reconstructed fully reliable models. Such models can be readily used in most 3D content creation pipelines. Unlike prior methods that rely on the error-prone mesh organizations, or output non-standard 3D formats, complicating integration with standard graphics renderers, our work is friendly for both optimization and deployment. We adopt the neural builds as the basis for our scene representations because they are compact and friendly for optimization. We model geometry as a neural SDF represented by an MLP. Similarly, we represent spatially varying material parameters like diffuse albedo and roughness using MLPs. We optimize this scene representation using image reconstruction losses, penalizing the difference between rendered and captured images. The optimization proceeds in a hybrid way with two stages. In the first stage, we use volume rendering to reconstruct the volumetric radiance field. And in the second stage, we locate a surface and refine it using surface rendering along with lighting and materials. Once optimization is done, we extract a mesh and material textures for use in graphics. In our system, we implement volume rendering by passing the output of the neural SDF through a flipped sigmoid light function with a learnable width to obtain a density value at each location, as in prior work news and OSDF. We then sample multiple points along each ray to perform volume rendering. The color at each point is computed using a radiance MLP that predicts a view dependent color. Once this volume radiance field rendering optimization is complete, we can easily use this radiance MLP to initialize our diffuse albedo MLP in the volume stage of edge of well surface rendering. We then perform a second stage of optimization of the new SDF using physics-based surface rendering based on standard mesh rendering. Where the rendering involves finding ray surface intersections and in evaluating the rendering equation at each surface point. We identify one issue in existing differentiable surface rendering techniques for neural SDF. That is, they fail to take into account the gradient of the image reconstruction loss with respect to the geometry parameters and visibility discontinuities. To see the existence of such gradients, let's consider this edge pixel. If the 3D edge moves towards the lower right direction by a tiny bit, then the edge pixel's color is going to become more purple. This indicates the long zero gradients of the shading at edge pixels with respect to the same geometry. Failure to consider such gradients at edge pixels will oftentimes lead to some multiple shape reconstructions. To address this issue, the edge pixel needs to be rendered by blending colors on both sides of the edge, with the blending weights being functions of the subpixel accurate differentiable edge positions. We also adopt a severe approximation of the square pixel footprint to simplify computation. Now let's look at some comparative evaluations. We first compare with the method utilizing volumetric scene reputations, deep reflectance volume. We use the official implementation provided by the authors. Our method recovers much sharper details than the baseline. We also recover more accurate geometry. The meshes and texture output by our system can be easily relit under environmental lighting using existing graphics renderers, which is not the case with the volumetric representations output by the DRV baseline. We then compare with a mesh-based differential rendering pipeline called PSDR. We use the official implementation provided by the authors. Our results contain much fewer geometry artifacts thanks to the neural SDF representation. Despite the high quality results, our method has a few limitations. First, we do not consider inter reflections. Second, we require photometric images that lead to a more involved capture process than environmental lightings. Third, we assume opaque objects with only diffuse and specular reflections, hence, we don't consider translucent or transparent effects. To conclude, we find that it's better to have neural fields for optimization while meshes and textures for deployment such that we can enjoy the benefits from both worlds. We also find that neural SDFs are better optimized in a hybrid way, that is, use the more global and compute expensive volume rendering for quickly instantiate geometries, followed by the local and less compute expensive edge of well surface rendering for recovering geometry details. Thank you for watching. Please check our project page for more information and open source implementations.